Aquarius Mark Radio. What's going on? Crystals. Delicious. Dish. Delicious. But not White Castle. No, I'm not hating. I'm not hating because I'm 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 too far to like I wish I could get some White Castle and get some crystals and then really like decide who is the better one. Now, living in New York for a while, it's nice to have access to White Castle. If you don't know what White Castle is, it is a fast food chain that sells little burgers, little sliders. They're not grilled. They're not sautéed on a pan or a griddle or anything. They are all, all the burgers are steamed. And um, they're delicious. They sell hot dogs there as well, french fries. It's a typical fast food place. Now, when I moved down south, my heart, my heart kind of broke a little bit. The fact that I'm never gonna be able to have White Castle again. Well, they have a chain down here called Crystals. And it's damn near the same thing, almost identical, but I will have to say White Castle is slightly better. I know. I know it's not diet. It's regular. You know why? Because fuck diets. That's why. Oh, you, oh, actually, you know how many chemicals are in diet? Yeah, yeah, I know how many chemicals are in diet. Can the dry soda, okay? Three chemicals. Love, love, and love. <laughs> Chemical imbalances.
this I talked about how Abba Eats was talking about a particular thing in one of her videos and I I touched base on it and then I also talked about how our community the ASMR community there's hardly any judging and there's like like most of the comments are positive and this and that but then I kind of was like I think the reason why there's hardly any negative shit in the comment <laughs> in the comment section of ASMR videos is is because we're kind of embarrassed already that we're watching ASMR videos, which I still don't understand why we're embarrassed. But I mean, me too. Like I do get like if somebody catches me watching ASMR videos. I just now have to explain it as anyways and my analogy was this is so, this is so stupid it's like if you were it's like if you went to Tijuana and watched one of those closet shows in like the weird part of town like you went in paid money walked into a closet sit down and you watch some old lady like sucking off a donkey <laughs> It's like, so you're watching it and then you're like, yo, you're gross. I can't believe you're doing it. You start judging them and making fun of them, throwing insults and be like, I can't believe you're doing that to a donkey. I can't believe. And the old lady's just looking at you like, bro, you paid for this. Like, what are you doing? like you chose to come and watch this. How do you go and judge me? And that's, it's not, come on, give it to me. That's like the perfect analogy. Is that what analogy means? I can, I'm just, <laughs> don't, this is another reason why y'all should not listen to me. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. But isn't that what, like, that's exactly what it is. It's like, there's, I don't, that's why I feel like there's hardly any judging or troll comments in ASMR videos because it's already weird. So it's like, oh my God, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. It's like, yo, didn't you go out of your way to click on a search bar type in my name click on my channel click on my video and now you're hating on me for what you chose to watch Nobody, if you look up 
who invented the hamburger. There's like three or four different places in the United States that people so-called say they invented the, the hamburger. And it's all relatively around the same time. But they did a whole show on it on the Food Network over there. <laughs> yeah, there's the Food Network. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I'm sorry, I do laugh at my own jokes. I'm hilarious. Uh, but they came down to like two different places, and it was kind of leaning more to, towards uh, Lewis Lunch. So everybody and their mother that lives in the Northeast uh, of the United States, they say that Lewis Lunch is the origin of the hamburger. And basically, it's a small little fucking hut, it's a little tiny hut. In downtown New Haven, Connecticut, and, um, the guy still has the same burners from 1886 or something like that. And you slide them in diagonally like this, not like this, like this. The, the just the meat it goes right into the thing, so all the meat drips down. And um, he puts it on two pieces of regular white bread, regular sliced white bread, uh, tomatoes, onions, and that's it. No condiments. There's actually a big sign, like a picture of a ketchup bottle with a big circle around it and an X through it. Like, there's no condiments allowed in there. And they don't need it, to be honest. The burger is so juicy, so good, and, it, and so expensive. <laughs> but it was, look it up, man. You gotta Google it. It's so good. supposed to be hungry and uh 